Griffin in particular is just a goofball. You know, you can't help but to love him because he's so sweet and kind of goofy and loving and attentive, concerned. So he brings all those things to me and he would or another dog would for other people. You know, you have a dog that's dependent on you but also helps you, highly trained. You know, how can you go wrong with that? My name is Chris Blanchard. I was a carpenter and a contractor hired by Dale Chihuly to remodel his mock-up studios. 20 years ago, I got my job there. It was not six months before I fell off a scissor lift and, and broke my neck. Before my injury, I was very active. I did a lot of adventuring. I met Ben the first day I went up to Summit, and he's this big, beautiful golden, and he performed amazing. He did everything just sharp, bang on, snap to it. That was wonderful. I had him for eight years, and that was a good long time. Not long enough, though. He died suddenly of cancer. That was a shocker. The time between Ben and Griffin was tough. I was always looking for a dog, reaching for a dog expecting to see him under the desk, you know, when I get up in the morning. So that, that was hard. And I called up and asked them if they had any Goldens out there. And they said, no, we had Griffin in mind for you. And here's this lab, you know, golden mix of floppy ears and, and just sort of big giant head and little skinny body. And I had a great time with them. And, and he really liked me, and he was very affectionate. Griffin is always keeping an eye on me and always concerned about me. Griffin does a lot of things for me on a daily basis that I am very thankful for. Picking things up, I drop my poker all the time. It's a little too loose, and it falls off my hand when I put it down, so I, I can never get it back. And Sometimes I drop a television remote, and he loves to pick it up and throw it in my lap. And Summit trained Griffin to push me back in my chair if I fall forward, and that's a unique need for somebody. I don't like to wear a chest strap, and I do find myself falling forward once in a while and need a little help getting back, and the dog can get up on my lap and just headbutt me back in my seat. He makes a lot of people smile, and the social aspect that these service dogs bring to the handlers is amazing. Even at work, I'll let them chew on a toy and wrestle with a colleague. They come in my office and just lay on the floor with him. And he's pretty much the company therapy dog. Summit means a lot to me. I try and do as much fundraising as possible, talks and demonstrations and manning booths. And an opportunity came up to be on the board, and, and it's a pretty important organization to me. And so I joined the board. It's all very expensive, and so we need somebody to stand up and, and keep the program running. I'm extremely grateful to Summit and the donors, and we rely on donations to, to keep that going. <laughs>